Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 11 of the TCC CTC Link blog. Um, first topic I have for you today is I want to talk a little bit about data conversion and validation. Um, we, the state group has just finished uh, the second data conversion run, and so uh, folks on campus should have access to the system pretty soon to start validating that data. Uh, but I wanted to show you where you can find uh, information about uh, data conversion and uh, which elements are going to be converted when. Um, and this information is housed in the CTC Link uh, SharePoint site, which is ctclink.sharepoint.com. And so if you have access to this site, once you log in, um, you'll, you'll want to click on the menu item at the top called Technology Integration. And then once here, you'll want to click on the, uh, the menu item at the top called Data Solutions. And then over here on the right, uh, there'll be a link for CTC Link Conversion Flow Diagrams. And when you click this link, um, you'll see uh, kind of categories of data and the data elements within, and they're all color-coded. And this legend here at the bottom of each section will show you um, when the, uh, these data elements are going to be converted. So anything that's uh, orange um, was converted in the first cycle. Uh, which is in October, and then anything that's blue was converted in this latest cycle, um, which uh, occurred uh, this week, and then anything purple will be converted in the, s the third cycle, which will begin in January. Um, so, uh, so, you, so you can go through here and see that it's all broken up by pillars, so you can see campus solutions, you can see human capital management, and finance. And uh, if you don't have access to uh, the CTC Link SharePoint site, feel free to shoot me an email or give me a call and I'd be happy to send you a copy of this, uh, of this docu document. Um, and now I have some uh, good news about data. Um, it was announced uh, yesterday at the uh, Information Technology Commission meeting um, uh, from Ray Gartner, who's the CTC Link technology lead, uh, that reporting tools and data for reporting uh, should be available uh, by February 3rd, um, which is great news uh, for folks that have been uh, really excited about getting their hands on some of the reporting tools and starting to learn some of those tools and, and how they will access the, the data out there. Um, so that should be coming up uh, fairly soon, um, which makes it really important if you did receive an email from someone in the reporting group asking you to fill out a reporting survey, um, it's important to uh, get that information um, submitted to the reporting group so that uh, that group can start looking at um, how to build some of those reports and, and how to configure uh, some of the reports as they're going through the training on the tools. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you, if you haven't had a chance to fill out the survey and you have received one of those emails, um, please uh, start filling, that, filling out that information pretty soon. Uh, and then finally, um, I wanted to say congratulations to Steve Ashpole uh, for being our um, episode 10 winner. And typically, um, you know, I will throw up a graphic of, um, of the, 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 that week's winner and kind of talk a little bit about um, Link and his visit. But uh, Steve has really kind of set the bar high as far as uh, setting up the Link and the track. And, and so I recorded a little video that I want to share with you. So I'll play that now. Top of the bridge overseeing everything uh -huh. of CTC Link, that's Andy Duckworth. He is Thomas. Okay. Underneath, you can see we have three parallel tracks. Nice. Those, those stand for each pillar that Andy is overseeing. Then over here, back here, this is kind of the, the oversight group. This is the Hobbit Hole, which is also State Board Bellevue. And inside here is the one ring to rule them all, which really controls everything that happens in our little thing. We have our two little circles that, that show inclusion, and, and they're formed in infinity, meaning that this project will go on forever. And finally, we have this nice plant that has no meaning. Oh, gotcha. Well, you've set the bar very high. Yes, I, I want everybody to have incorporate the symbolism and what it means <laughs> when it comes to CTC Link. Nice. So thanks, Steve, for that uh, great explanation of your uh, setup for, for Link and the track. And uh, just a reminder, um, I will be posting a question from uh, this week's episode on Monday. And so if you want to host, uh, host Link in your area, then uh, be the first to answer the question correctly and, uh, and think about how you might set him up and, uh, and what the configuration might look like. Uh, thanks for joining us and I'll see you in a couple weeks.